When it comes to indoor gardening, it's really tough to beat Tower Garden's maxed out garden that they call the Green Bronx Machine. That's why for my fully optimized and advanced indoor growth environment, I chose the Green Bronx Machine to be the star of the show. So here is my Green Bronx Machine. Okay, okay, well, okay, well, let me tell you what this garden is while I pull it all out, clean it off, uh, and assemble my own Green Bronx Machine. The base for this garden is Tower Garden's flagship Flex model with the 20 gallon reservoir. This sits on top of the Flex dolly. This makes it easy to move and it helps air move around the base keeping your reservoir nice and cool. You get one extension kit, taking the capacity from 20 plants to 28 plants on this garden. You also get a support cage for your larger plants. And to literally top it all off, you're gonna get Tower Garden's signature adjustable lights. Making this truly the one indoor garden to rule them all. Now, my setup will be a little different than the stock Green Bronx machine because I have some height limitations in my grow tent. So I'm not gonna use the Tower Garden lights. Instead, I'm gonna use my AC Infinity Evo 10 light above with lights mounted to my tent going around the garden. This way of doing my lighting really allows me more flexibility when it comes to switching and adding light for my fruiting plants later down the road, like tomatoes. I also left the flex dolly off of this setup because of the height limits and, well, I really don't need it in here. So the Green Bronx machine is designed to be what I refer to as a garden tower, where you grow many different plants on one tower. The bottom is designed to house your larger plants, your tomatoes, your cucumbers, peppers, cruciferous plants. Then above the trellis, where the extension rises up, you can plant your herbs and your greens for that constant rotation and harvesting. I will say though, maintaining a garden tower requires a little more knowledge and understanding of your plant's needs than just monocropping or growing just one plant in your tower does. I do have a ton of videos and free guides at humblegrowthhydroponics.com that you should definitely check out as a great resource to get started. This is also the beginning of a new series I'm doing on indoor tower gardens, so be sure to subscribe to follow this grow.